Good morning and welcome back. We're back in action here. Today we're looking at the three C's of fatherosophy. Every dad needs to be building his own fatherosophy, and these are kind of the, the three C's that I have in mind to help me know how to move as an effective leader in my house. And this can also help you identify areas in your life or in your fatherhood or being a dad that are going well and some that might need improvement. So let's jump in. The first C is called combatants. Who is your enemy? Who are you against? What are you against? They're absolutely opposed to you. Like things can be your enemy or people can be your enemy. And I'm not talking about like all the Democrats, all the Republicans, all the liberals, all those crazy right wingers. I'm talking about things like, hey, there's no drugs in our house. Hey, no alcohol. Hey, this is your bedtime. Hey, there's some simple things that are lined up and some rules that you know, these are things we're against in our house, in our family, and even in our social life. So those things you need to know. So no R-rated movies or no calls for kids after 9 p.m. No alone time on the internet, you young boys. You know, these are some things that you got to lay down as some rules and what are you going to be against? Because if you're not against anything, then you're kind of for everything. And so when something happens, you're disappointed. You can't blame anybody but yourself because you didn't really lay down any rules of these are what we're against and these are things we definitely don't do. So the first one, combatants. What are we against? The next C is for comrades. Comrades are kind of like brothers in arms. And, and it looks like they're on your team all the way, but really it's kind of like, like the men in a foxhole where a man from France and a man from the United States were both against the Nazis. But when the war is over and they defeated the enemy, they don't really go to each other's houses. They don't care what's going on with their family. They don't care really what's happening. They're just against what you are against. So we can team up and we're on the same team. We're fighting a common enemy. You are now my comrades. You are my brothers in arms and you are going to help me. It happens in sports teams. We're all together. We're battling the enemy. It's the other team. We're scoring points. We're making it happen. Then after the game's over, those people aren't coming back to your home. They don't care about, you know, taking care of grandma on the weekend or your bills and your house or what's going on with you really. They just they have a common enemy they want to win together. If you can help them do that, that's great. But you you'll need some of these people in your life and, and especially when you're raising kids, you're gonna need those those teachers, coaches, church leaders, boy scout troops or or whoever's whoever's all for your kids doing well that's going to be fighting against, you know, basically your kids' bad characters or bad habits or illiteracy, you know, things like that, that you're going to need some help with. And there's some people that are going to be on your team to help with those things. So make sure you recognize those people in your life and in your kid's life. The third C is the confidants. This is the people you can confide in. They're, they're hundred percent with you. So if you're going up, they're going up. If you're going down, they're with you all the way. And so this could be your family or your spouse. And you'll know these people because they're few in number. And they're the ones that always show up when you need a little help or they're there when you call. Uh, you, you may not have anybody in this category actually yet. So it could be something that you're, you're looking for to see who's always going to be on my team no matter what. And they're always for what I'm for. They're against what I'm against. They're on my team and they're with me 100%. And so men find this out sometimes when they're when they're dating or when they're when they're dealing with other people and they, they find out that, you know, everything was awesome. We're all moving forward. But the only reason she wanted to move in together was so we could help pay the bills. Like that's not really what I was looking for. So be careful when you're making those, uh, those relationships. And when you're aligning yourself with other people, are they just a comrade? They're against what you're against, like being poor, or they're really confident. They're looking out for you and it's going to help you grow together. So keep that in mind as you're putting that together with your family, as you're raising your kids, it's important to know the, who those three C's are, dealing with the combatants, who are your total enemies, what you're against, your comrades, who's with you against the same enemies that you have, and who are the confidants that you can put your trust and your faith in so that you guys can grow together. So keep that in mind. We look forward to seeing you again here tomorrow, and don't make the mistakes and get those C's mixed up.